hello everybody welcome to this session the objective of this session is uh, to see how the line items of the PO uh, could be deleted now uh, this video is uh, in relation to the comments posted by a couple of users because many users uh, um, they have asked me how to delete line items from a purchase order and how to see what is a T code so they would like to see so let's see how to do that so for that uh, first of all let's go to uh, me22n uh, this is a transaction code where I would like to see the purchase order that I have with me okay so let me just uh, get my purchase order okay so here you can see that we have multiple line items right now in this and um, now let's see if in case you would like to delete a couple of these uh, say for example if I would like to delete this and if I would like to delete this so if I would like to delete uh, these two line items so let's see how we would do that so it is very simple in a purchase order if you would like to delete any of the line item just highlight the line item and here you can see the delete button click on it automatically um, say yes there would be a trash can which will uh, pop up in front of the uh, line item you can see here so this means it is deleted now um, I'm going to save this transaction and then we will see that what actually happens if I'm going to pull any kind of reports or if I would like to see what line items have been deleted in this particular purchase order alright so I'm going to save this now so the purchase order is saved now uh, system is a little slow yeah so it's saved so let's go to the transaction called ME2N now here one important point is that you can see uh, this is basically purchasing documents per document number but what you can see here is this dynamic selection box okay so I have two options I give my purchasing document number here and then the second point is what I would like to see at the item level is the deletion indicator so here you can see the deletion indicator right now here this usually will have at uh, the moment when you're deleting any line item it would pick up a flag of X but the value what it posts would be L so for example it's like L let's say so I'm going to execute this so you can see here that it has picked up only two line items which we actually deleted from the purchase order so you can see here this has actually updated as L now let's see if in case we can pick up the same thing with an X here so what if I give an X here so let's see if in case you give X what happens next so you will not be able to find but can I get the same valuation with putting the value as not equal to initial so let's see this is a deletion indicator so what I'm going to do is that for this particular purchasing document number okay I'm going to fetch only those which is not having this value as initial now when I say initial not equal to initial means it is it should not be blank so basically what we are going to put this condition and we will see that what will happen when we execute this so you can see here it has picked up again the same line items with L so these are the two line items which were deleted now let's say that if in case we would like to do this the other way that means I would like to see only the items which are not deleted in a purchase order then what happens next so I say in this purchase order I would like to see only the line items which are not deleted so I would say here initially we selected this one okay not equal to blank so now I'm not going to put any value here I will just say execute and you can see it has actually picked up all those line items like line number 20 30 and then 10 and 40 it has not picked up because those were deleted from the purchase order 
so i hope you uh, would have understood how to see all the line items which would be deleted from the purchase order and it would be very easy to see all right now the second option there is one more option that we have and that is through the tables so let's go to the table se16n and now the table for the purchase order is ek po now in ek po i'm not going to select all of them i'm just going to select ebeln and then here you can see the deletion indicator which is loekz so i'm going to put this and then i'm going to put my purchasing document number okay so i have my purchasing document number here so let me copy this okay and i am just putting this not equal to initial all right the same thing what we did there so you can see now it has told that there are two line items but now we do not know that what line items were there right so for that ebelp the purchase order line item and now you can see that it is 10 and 40 line item now you if you would like to also see the material so click here the material and then you can click on the plant if in case you want the plant as well you want the company code or storage location anything else you can pick that as well depending upon what you would like to have or what you would not like to have and then say execute so you can see that these were the two different materials which were actually having a deletion indicator you can see here deletion indicator which is l here so this is how you would be um, seeing all the materials which are deleted in a purchase order so for example if you would like to see the materials which are not having any deletion indicator on then in that case this one needs to be removed so i would change it to equal to blank that is a actual one and you can see all the other line items have been picked up so this is how we would be looking at the uh, purchase order line items which will have a deletion indicator on so i hope you would have enjoyed the video please like subscribe and uh, also uh, let me know in the comment section that which option you liked the most whether you liked the me2n option where the report which was easy to run or you liked directly the table se16n and by doing the ek uh, po uh, which option did you like the most thank you so much